Triple plus awesome because get your creative juices flowing with the poetic license. Wahoo! And thank you very much for the reading. That was very very cool. Um, it's I'm starting the second round, so take your time with things. And this is why then uh, we should have two songs from Ron in our next round. But I'm starting the second round, and in so doing, I will be reading from a book that John F. McMillan read from. That is the new issue of Down in the Dirt magazine, which was also just released. That is titled A Night Shadow. It's one long bridge. <laughs> it's one long bridge, um, named after an accepted piece of writing within the book. Um, I'm going to pull three from the back of this book, and um, they also happen to be poems that are related to locations that are in the new Cyberwit book, The Universe is in Your Hands. And yes, there is astronomy in it, like this cover, one of the first shots from the James Owens Space Telescope, but also from things all around the world, which is why you're seeing so many flags hidden in there. But anywho, I'm going to start and end with places in the United States, and maybe show, maybe I'll go to Germany in the middle of that for you kids. But in the interim, this first one, haha, -ha, New Mexico, volcano lava, volcano lava along the road. And you even got a picture. I'm going to show you the picture, and I'm going to show you some lava that I got from New Mexico. That's right. If you saw me get hung up, this is just one of the chunks of rock that you can just pull off the road because it's so abundant there. This is for New Mexico, volcano lava along the road. After receiving ashes from Mount St. Helens, after snorkeling Oahu beaches emerging from lava beds, after walking the ruins of Pompeii from Mount Vesuvius, after walking along the shores of Deception Island, the sunken caldera of an active Antarctica volcano, after hearing more and more cases of volcanic eruptions that you better not attribute to global warming, after hearing recent news of Indonesia's Mount Merapi deaths, hearing after all of this time, I've been starting to understand how volcanoes make 80% of all the Earth's surface. <laughs> and they formed our early oceans and atmosphere too. That may be why I drove the roads of New Mexico, not to perform in a National Poetry Slam Chicago show in Albuquerque, but this time just to drive the highways and pull over anywhere along Mount Taylor and pick up a red or black football-sized chunk of lava. And no, you're not stealing them because so many young volcanoes are so abundant that you have to look for things like mesas to break up the outdoor museum of volcanoes that is New Mexico. So... I say, take a drive that way. See for yourself. It was really amazing. Thank you, you guys. It was, you know, and it's hard to show, but it's like, that's just driving along the road, thunk, just big chunks of lava all over the place. Like, man, it was absolutely crazy. It was just crazy, I'm telling you. But anyway, we're gonna take a break and go to the other side of the globe for this middle one. This one, and I won't have a photo for you guys, this one is One May Day, Germany. We left Hitler's home country to go to Germany's Dachau to see one of the first concentration camps in existence. Drank beer on the train ride from Munich, something Hitler would frown upon. Then, after seeing Washington, D.C.'s Holocaust Memorial, complete with a train car, a Warsaw ghetto walkway, glass bins of collected hairbrushes, shoes, I was stoked for this impact of actually being there. But once we passed under the Arbach Makfrei sign, we walked into vast, blank halls with only occasional spots of original chipping paint. We'd walk from room to room, each containing only large hanging posters with individual images of data in German and in English. You couldn't feel the gravity of life for prisoners in these camps. Only when we got to the last room and we saw a scale model of the entire grounds as it was during the Holocaust, well... Everything we had walked through that day was only about one-fifth the size of the entire camp. That was the only way I saw the monstrous size of this monstrosity. 
later sat at a Munich bar, and the old German men yelled at us in German when an American-sounding song played on the jukebox. I didn't even know what the jukebox was, and the bartender yelled at the regulars in German that she was the one that chose that song. But looking back, I have to admit that it was cool to be yelled at in another language from men on the other side of the planet. <laughs> Can I just interrupt? Pardon me? Yes? Why, why, why particularly did you read that one? Just picked we it out? Today, just the 4th of August was the day Anne Frank was... Uh, <gasps> Um, Go on. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't even know the day for that for Anne Frank. No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I wondered if that's why you picked it. It, it wasn't, which is crazy, but um, um, I watched things about Anne Frank. We went to the Anne Frank memorials when we were there and stuff, but I no, I just, I just picked that out. I picked it out a while ago so that I'd have it here ready to read. I didn't know. I didn't even... Duh. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Smack myself no, with a bridge. <laughs> Amazing timing. Oops, I didn't. Um, yes, I planned it. That's exactly no. I, but thank you for sharing that. Um, well, now I'm gonna do one more short one, and it's going back to the states, and uh, it is. And I'm looking at the picture for it right now of Old Faithful here um, for Wyoming that appears not only in. A Night Channel from Down in the Dirt, but also The Universe is in Your Hands. Just released from Cyberwit. It's a digest size. I'm thinking that I might release a 6x9 version of it. I'm not going to advertise that or whatever, but if people want something that's a little bit larger, I I don't know. Since I did the design work for the book, I might. But anywho, um, I thought I'd share with you this one poem, and it is for Wyoming, and it's titled, Who Had the Real Power on Planet Earth? <sighs> Roll your eyes at going to the first Taco John's in the franchise. And, and don't question how odd it is that a Tex-Mex fast food joint got its start in, of all places, Wyoming. <laughs> Just tolerate their potato of lays, even if they've chained their hot sauce recipe. And make the trip to Yellowstone, because it seems like clockwork that Old Faithful Geyser will give you a postcard perfect picture. But what else are you going to do other than, unless you actually search for the nearest glacier to walk on top of? Just be careful when the winds pick up and, like instinct, you'll crouch to the ground to protect yourself from Mother Nature. Because I don't care if you love the high-rises of downtown cities in the States peering from once 96th floor lounges at the once John Hancock building. Great views from enclosed skyscrapers is one thing. It's another to face the elements of nature head on to truly understand who has the real power on planet Earth. Short but sweet one. And yes, as I said, picture perfect shot that just comes off all the time when they're there. So, and I'm showing you pictures. When I'm showing you them here, that's because they are in the book, but they're smaller and in black and white. So you guys get to see it that way up close and live and stutch. But anywho, thank you guys so very much for this ride. I'd like to start up another round and I, and because John had asked, oh, can we do two or three? I'm like, yeah, do three. Yeah, and take your time for it because I we're a little bit ahead. So if you've got a longer pieces for the round that's totally wonderful because I would like to hear more and more from all of you so we're going to be starting up so I hope that Zoom host John F. McMullen and I believe his um, he would put in a statement about buy him a cup of coffee is that a thing for being able to donate because that would actually help for going for paying for the Zoom meetings that might be the intention for it you have to unmute yourself John um, he's talking but he's still muted I'd like to hear you John <laughs> but if he was suggesting to buy him a cup of coffee, and I'm seeing icons of coffee going up. Um, if, yeah, we would love to pay Zoom again. That was the reason. So, all right, definitely. So everybody go do that because this man okay. deserves that most definitely, and I'm going to make sure I get that.